is this Skims bodysuit worth the 58 price tag? Not only am I going to tell you if it's worth it, I'm also going to compare it to a very inexpensive Primark one. I'm going to do a try on for you, discuss sizing and whether or not you should be spending your money on Skims. But before we get into all of that, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. A thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Okay, sit back, enjoy, make sure you have your favourite beverage at hand. I have a little large glass of Pinot Grigio. Cheers! Okay, what is Skims? Skims is an American shapewear clothing company, although it's American. A lot of the items are made in Turkey, just thought I'd add that. It is owned by Kim Kardashian, among others. There's five investors in the company. Okay, with all that boring stuff said and done, let's move on. So I have the Skims bodysuit and I have the Primark bodysuit here in Scotland we call it Primark people. Okay, let's let's talk about the differences. Right. This is made up of 90% cotton, 10% elastin. Elastin. It's elasticated people. This is made up of roughly the same. I think it's more cotton and less less elastin. So the Primark one is 96% uh, cotton and 4% elastine okay by the way also made in Turkey <laughs> just so I'd let you know the other difference is this has adjustable straps so the skims one has adjustable straps this doesn't have adjustable straps they both have a poppers in the crutch area the primark one has nice black poppers it has three of them and um hold on let's get it the right way around so right so that's the back and that's the back okay so we, we've got the poppers the right way around so the back poppers are the ones that turn in and they are black and there's three of them and the front poppers there we go they just pop in and there's nothing on the outside of them the skims one there's two poppers right there so they would turn in and then they would pop in and you can see the poppers on the skims so there's a difference there i would say the premark one is better the Primark one is cut much higher up on the leg and you'll see that when I'm trying it on. Well, when I say you're going to see that when I'm trying it on, you're not going to see like from the hips down. <laughs> so here it is. Here's the Skims cotton bodysuit on. That's what it looks like. I'm wearing a bra with it. If I don't wear a bra with it, when I bend down, it's quite gapy around here. This is the side view of it, so it covers everything here fine. This is the back view of it and the other side view of it. As you can see, we have lines which we don't like. There we go. The leg goes quite high up to here. So if I was to turn this down, I mean the top of the leg is like here right there cuts up right to there so that's what it looks like this does not hold you in at all at all so there we go that's what the skims cotton bodysuit looks like <laughs> but take my word for it <laughs> okay so you could that's a much higher leg and it's cut much higher on the bum although it's not a thong so that's what that looks like it's a much lower cut on the side of the thigh but apart from that the very very so we have the pre-mark one there we go this does not gape when I bend over when I'm not wearing a bra. That's the side. That's the back. And the other side. 
the lines are less apparent with this one the leg is cut lower yeah the leg is cut lower and that's what that looks like it's not as elastic as the skims one there we go I would say when you're touching them okay this is the strange when you're touching them the skims one feels thinner than the pre-mark one probably because there's more cotton in it but the skims one feels nicer than the pre-mark one but not 58 pounds nicer okay the pre-mark ones are a few pounds i can't remember exactly this one i've had for a few years now but they're really inexpensive the pre-mark um body suits they they really really are i would say they're no more they're definitely no more than eight pounds they're much less than that but anyway the skims one is 58 pounds so let's say just for the sake of this video this is eight pounds and this is 50 pounds is this worth 50 pounds people looking at them there okay do you think this is worth the 58 price tag and this in comparison right the other difference is which i don't like on the skims right it has the skims logo all over it all the way round, all the way and round at the bottom there why there's a need to put all of that round there i don't know i really don't know nobody's gonna see that okay and um, and what this does here it makes this part bulge out so you can see the line of the bodysuit through your trousers today i'm wearing a pair of Spanx. okay just a pair of Spanx. that's siri trying to get in onto the act again so today i'm wearing a pair of Spanx and when i tried them on i had the Spanx on and you may say to me but Spanx are thin you're gonna see them through well i put this bodysuit on with a pair of um four leather leggings from trousers not so much leggings trousers from zara and you could see and it wasn't just the back that you could see you could see the front as well you could see the line because this is quite thick this piping round here is really really quite thick now when i tried them both on both the um skims one and the pre-mark one primark yeah. one because when i tried them both on i didn't have underwear on because i wanted a you know like a real picture of what they actually look like i didn't want to wear um any underwear so you could see the other thing is with the skims one it gapes it gapes up here if i don't wear a bra i would be very aware of bending down so it's really quite loose around this area and although i've got it tightened the straps are at the tightest part it's still gaped the pre-mark one didn't when i wear a bra it's absolutely fine it's there was no gaping but um without a bra it gapes i was ve very aware of this area here so i couldn't wear this without a bra so when i was saying about this feeling thin thinner i didn't feel you could see my bra through it i'll need to have a look at the footage again but i didn't notice that when i tried that on when i tried the primark one on i i could see the design of my bra because it's got kind of a lacy design so i could see it through when you look when i look through this i can see through it like i can see the camera so that's the primark one let's do it here and yeah i could see it through there as well so really there is not that much in them when you think of the price difference there's honestly i don't know how they can justify the 58 pounds for this bodysuit now okay this is not the one that looks like a baby grow okay because we've all seen those ones everywhere you know where they're this size and the people squeeze into them and then they've got like a foot 
between their body and the jeans and oh it's amazing I don't know how that happens people I can't see how that happens how how it holds everything in to me for me if something's going to get pushed in it's got to come out somewhere else so unless you're wearing a whole bodysuit that's going to cover the whole of your body whatever you're squeezing in has to come out elsewhere unless you don't have anything to squeeze in in my opinion will i personally be buying another one or even one of those baby girl ones no not at all i definitely won't be i'm very thankful for this i am more than happy that i got it for my christmas i wanted it that's why i've got it i love the fact that i've got it because it's hype people it's what everybody's got just now you're paying for the name like a lot of these things like we do a lot of the time you know you'll quite often hear people saying you get what you pay for yes but it doesn't justify it, it the, the the difference does not justify it not in the cotton one anyway and at the end of the day shapewear is nothing new shapewear has been going on for years and years and hundreds of years going back to corsets they've just got a lot thinner technology has made them a lot better Spanx have been doing shapewear lots of companies do shapewear Marks and Spencers do shapewear lots of companies do shapewear do I think the Skims shapewear is any better than anybody else's in my opinion I honestly don't I think we are paying for the brand we are paying for the hype and you know the women head of this company are very clever business women they know how to promote a business you know a lot of people talk about kim kardashian's body <laughs> people it's not the shapewear that makes a body <laughs> you know there's a allegedly been a lot of operations to create that body you know it's diet it's exercise it's a lot of things that create a body you know it's not shapewear shapewear is good that you know if you want the nice smoothness so you don't want things bulging out of a nice tight outfit it can help i have nothing against shapewear but I'm here to review what I think of my bodysuit and my first impressions of it because when I put it on I was I was not wild people I wasn't wild at all I was like it's a bodysuit it's no better than any other bodysuit that I've had it's not that much better than the Primark one that cost a few pounds again this is not you know that little one that we all see that's really really tight <laughs> you know but do you really want to be tied up all night in one of those tiny little I mean they're tiny they must be really tight do, do you want to sit in that all night and feel like you've got a what's it called a stray jacket is that what it's called honestly personally i won't be buying another skims bodysuit i don't think they're worth it in my opinion i love that i've got mine like i said and i was very lucky to receive it as a gift and i'll be wearing it and enjoying it but i don't think it's worth 58 pounds sizing mine is in a size medium and when I looked at the website, a medium is a size 8 to 10. And I would say that's true to size. When I first put it on, I thought, oh, this is too big because I expected it to pull me in because that's what skims are known to do. Um, but it, does, it doesn't hold me in at all. It just, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's just like wearing this Zara one. It's not any different. Did I tell you this is a Zara one? Yes, this is a Zara one. I've also reviewed this, the, the Zara bodysuits as well. What I will say is, um, which is a question I got asked when I reviewed the Zara ones, um, is this area comfortable? 
I didn't mind it. I'm I'm okay with the Zara ones as well. I don't find them uncomfortable. Um, so I was absolutely fine with this when I wore it. I did find it a really comfortable um, bodysuit. I didn't find it uncomfortable in any way. So my recap on this is save your money, people. <laughs> Go for the less expensive ones. You know, this is just, even when you look at the color, you know, this is not as black as my Primark one, which has been washed many, many, many times. Washed once, <laughs> people, washed once. I've worn it once. That's my quick review of the Skims, my honest opinion of the Skims bodysuit. Save your money. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have found this review helpful. I hope it has um, saved you a few pennies. But Tim, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried those ones that are the size of a baby girl and what you think of them. Let me know if you disagree with me. I'm happy to listen. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, if you're still not subscribed, it's the A right here. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers.